So it's uh, 4 o'clock Friday afternoon. It's been uh, raining since last night, steady to hard rain. And it's supposed to let up this afternoon. And hopefully the deer will get moving a little bit. It's awful warm still. It's probably, I don't know, 55, maybe even 60 degrees out. But get these two out here right now, but uh, that isn't what we're looking for. The woods are pretty noisy this afternoon. Rain dripping off the trees, wind blowing. So I thought I'd take a few minutes and kind of recap the week. Monday and Tuesday weren't too bad, at least in the morning anyway. There we had a little bit of a frost and the deer seemed to move all right. Uh, this uh, one group of does there, there's four of them, just standing there eating and all of a sudden, poof, they all run. <laughs> I'm not sure what jumped them there, but they didn't go too awful far, but I thought that was kind of interesting. One afternoon, there was a doe and a turkey out here for a little while, milling around. And uh, I also uh, spied a partridge going across a food plot. For those of you that uh, watched the videos last year, the eagle's back hanging around. <laughs> well, foliage is pretty nice right now. They're probably after this rain there. It's going to be uh, pretty well gone. That eagle even buzzed the food plot there one day. I guess the biggest talking point for the week is the temperature. <laughs> Like I said, we had those couple of frosty mornings, and since then, I mean, the lows have been in the mid-40s. Uh, highs in the 60s to low 70s. And the deer just uh, don't seem to be moving very much. The trail cam pitches down in my new hunting area haven't been showing too much. I think you've got a, one small fork on. And this pitch is kind of hard to see, but... Uh, I think it's that big buck, but it was like 4 o'clock in the morning. I did hunt down there a couple of days in the afternoon in one spot, sitting over a scrape, but uh, didn't see a thing. Of course, it was like, I don't know, 55, 60 degrees. I mean, I can't wait till it cools off a little bit. Uh, hopefully, the next couple of weeks here are going to be a little bit better. Now, and you never know, with this uh, rain today there, if it lets up the way that's supposed to there, the deer might move good tonight. Uh, there's already two that were out here earlier, but uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. One thing I noticed this week is uh, since it warmed up, they really haven't been eating that sorghum too much. I don't know if they'll go back to it once it cools off again, if they're done with it. Didn't even notice. That's a spike horn. So at least I see one buck this week. <laughs> Guess it definitely isn't the same two that were out here earlier.
cast up the other day. Doesn't look like he's gonna hang around much. He's just gonna walk right through the mud block. like he's running a little late this morning though. So next week I'm going to try to spend as much time as what I can down in uh, that new hunting area that I keep on talking about. The weather isn't going to be great. They're talking the first part of the week, the lows being in the high 50s. 40s to the low 50s and getting into the 60s and 70s during the day. But I've only got a couple of weeks left and I feel like, you know, if I'm going to get a chance at that buck, I'd like the looks of down in that area. I need to start hunting it. The trail cameras down in that area really ain't showing too awful much. So I might even spend one morning down there just scouting a little bit and uh, seeing if I can see where there's some fresh sign. And I probably will hunt the food plot here a little bit, but uh, I'm going to try to focus on that new hunting area. For those of you that are bow hunting, I hope you're having a good season. And for all of you gun hunters, two more weeks. <laughs> I haven't seen anything else out here this morning yet, so I think I'm going to call it a day there. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.